Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I have another Capture One tip for you. So, um, one of the things I've seen um, a few places recently is people asking how to do skin softening in Capture One. Um, I saw it on a couple of forums and a Reddit thread. So, it's actually uh, fairly straightforward. Um, so, there isn't a specific skin softening tool in Capture One um, and I also saw some people referencing the texture slider in Lightroom um, and while we don't have the exact equivalent of that in Capture One, it's actually straightforward enough to do skin softening. So, uh, doo -doo -doo, let me start. We want to start by just masking the face area. So to do that, uh, switch to our brush tool. Um, if you don't have any layers created already in your image, you don't need to create a layer. Just by selecting the brush tool and starting a mask will create it. So the next thing I want to do is I want to turn my mask on so that it's always visible. So this will just make your life a lot easier when you're drawing your mask. And to do that, you just hit the M key. Okay, and we can cur make our brush a bit bigger. So if you're using Capture One 21, just know that they've changed some of the brush controls. So you now have the same brush controls that you have in um, Photoshop for making your brush bigger and smaller. So it's the angle bracket keys in your keyboard. So what I want to do is just kind of draw the outline of the face. Okay, just like so, just very quickly. Okay, and then I want to go over here and right click on the layer and go fill mask. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we just kind of want to uh, erase the areas that we don't want to soften. So hit the E on the keyboard and this will switch to the erase tool. And again, we can use our angle brackets to make our mask a bit bigger. And we're just going to erase over the eyes just the eyebrows. Actually, I want to make sure we have our opacity and our flow up full. So, eyes, eyebrows. Okay, and our mouth. Uh, I'm just doing this roughly for demonstration purposes so that we're not sitting here watching me paint the mask. Um, but you can be a lot more careful about this. Okay, so once you've done that, I just turn, hit M again uh, to turn the mask off. You don't have to do that, it's just it makes it a bit easier to visualize it. Um, okay, so to soften the face, um, I'm going to zoom in first so you can kind of see what's going on. Maybe I'll drop this back to, say, 50%. Uh, all you actually need to do is use negative clarity. So we'll go to our clarity tool here and drag the clarity right down. And what I suggest you do is set this to either neutral or classic. Okay, and then you can also use a bit of negative structure as well. Okay, so straight away that has had quite a significant softening effect. So if we just turn our adjustment layer off and then back on again, you can see it's softened our skin, skin <laughs> quite effectively. Now, if you've got a lot of kind of small areas like this, more of a negative structure might be necessary. Um, you want to be careful though, if you go too far, you'll end up with a very fake skin effect. Um, unless, of course, that fake skin effect is what you want. Um, so, a couple of other things. You can now, once you have this kind of dialed into the ballpark, you can control the overall opacity then with the opacity slider of the layer. Um, and you may find it easier to kind of to control if you kind of set these to maximum and then just kind of use the overall opacity. And other thing you can do as well is if you're finding it uh, it's kind of excessively softening things like the eyebrows and stuff and your mask isn't exactly right uh, and rather than trying to kind of paint over everything exactly you can go in and use the loom range tool and then just bring in back in some of the black areas or the darker areas and just to bring a little bit of definition back okay so hit apply and you can see that's kind of brought in a little bit more definition there. You might not be able to see this on the YouTube after the compression. Um, the only downside of doing this is if you've got areas with a lot of shadow in it, kind of like around here, it might bring some of them back. But overall, I think that is a lot better. So again, here's our before and here's our after. I can turn that up, before and after. So. Uh, I'm kind of taking this to extremes here. It really depends on the type of shoot that you're doing and what you want to achieve. Um, personally, I'd prefer a natural effect, so something maybe a little bit more like that. 
okay before and after and again that's it's subtle but it actually it's more effective in my opinion than kind of the fake skin effect that you see a lot of um, so let me just give you one more example so let's get to this image so again I'm just going to zoom in and we can see so again we've quite textured skin here so to soften this so we'll do our same trick again so we start by selecting our brush tool turning on the mask with the M key and just draw around this like so again I'm just doing this roughly here so right click and go fill mask hit to our erase key and then just erase the eyes and your eyebrows and um, we can come back in later and paint areas back in if I've kind of, kind of gone too far with the eraser okay, and then around the mouth okay okay so that's fine and then M again to hide the mask uh, if you want to do that by the way the controls are actually here so it's this little button if you're not sure where the keys are uh, I normally have it only display mask when drawing but when you're kind of doing this it's easier to visualize it if it's on so that's why I, I have it turned on with the M key and um, I can put that back to that okay so I'm going to zoom in again so we can see better and similar to what we did the last time we want clarity we set it to neutral and drop our clarity down quite a bit and again with our negative structure so again it's softening the skin but it's not going too much turn our mask on and off to see before and after so up here around the eyebrow area uh, we might actually want to keep some of the texture in here so again we can go back to our erase tool and in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the flow and opacity and I'm just kind of going to build it up slightly so we kind of want it nicely faded off we don't want it too strong so again we can just do this kind of kind of more of a blend um, if you're using a Wacom tablet you'll get pressure sensitivity so and again just keep some of the texture so there's a nice like glitter that, um, makeup going on here that we want to kind of preserve a bit of okay and then down here as well we see it's kind of glowing over this a bit much so if we get a nice small mask in this case we want our flow up full by the way if you want to have bring this up it's just right clicking on it once you have the brush tool selected okay and then if we zoom back out before and after and again if you think this is too f too much you can just use the overall opacity slider to drop it down a bit okay that is pretty much it. That is the basics of how you do skin softening um, in Capture One. Um, both of these images were from Unsplash and I will have uh, links to the original photographers in the description below. So I hope you found this useful. If you do, please like, share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, see you next time.